The most important step in placing your clean room adhesive mat is floor prep. First, make sure that the surface is even and without cracks. If there is any surface irregularity, the mat will conform to that, and as we've already discussed, this causes delamination of the mat from the floor and leads to pockets under the mat where contaminants can harbor. Delamination can also lead to a dangerous side effect, when the mat actually lifts up from the floor while it's being walked on by an operator. This can result in operator injury if he or she loses balance and falls. Clean the surface thoroughly, checking for residual adhesive from a previous mat. Any dirt or residual adhesive will cause the mat to adhere unevenly. Adhesive mat frames can be used to ensure the surface they are placed on is clean and smooth. So Mike, do you think we're ready to place the mat on the floor? Sure, Marla. Let's start by pulling back the backing of the mat 6 inches, and then firmly press the exposed area to the floor, starting in the middle and working outward towards the edges. This helps remove bubbles and veins that may form as you are placing. Pull back another 6 inches and press outward, repeating the process until the entire mat is adhered to the floor. Do not tile mats. Tiling is the term used when placing two smaller mats side by side to make the mat area wide enough to fit the entrance width. This is wasteful and creates a space between the mats where contaminants can harbor.